everyone, I want to talk about story because story is what movies, TV, books, and games are really all about. Story is the relationship between the characters, their needs and challenges, the settings where they exist, the churning of the world, and the people all around them as well as with the audience like you and me who experience these stories with them. A story without an audience that nobody is watching or talking about is like a tree that falls in the forest when nobody is around to see it. Story connects us to the characters and to each other while we are experiencing it, thinking about it, or talking about it later. It is the beating heart of the human experience today, tomorrow, and in the past. From paintings of scenes on ancient caves to realistic 3D films in an AR VR headset and everything in between. I love talking about stories because it's the one thing that truly connects us to each other. It's why I started my movie review channel. I wanted to talk with you about the movies and TV shows that make us feel something. And of course, whether we agree or not, I hope you enjoy the conversation, like the video and subscribe for more. But movie reviewers, creators, and fans, we're all storytellers who are in this big discussion together and the reviews that we make that you respond to by viewing and commenting are all really part of that discussion. Some of my favorite reviewers who often make me feel something when I watch them include Chris Duckman who talks about the act of filmmaking. And it's just so interesting. I love his takes. Jeremy Johns, who is just fun to watch talking about movies. He really, really gets into it. Tyrone Magnus, who is just so passionate about his reviews. For good or ill, he's just got passion. And then there's Tessa Smith, who exudes love for the film and TV that she watches. There's the guys on the Angry Joe show who are just flat out entertaining, especially when they are disagreeing. And then there's Zach Milne, who is very insightful about things I often overlook. I really enjoy his takes. Grace Randolph, who is good at talking about the movie Money, which is always important. And then there's Ryan, the Ravens fan, who has this raw way of expressing himself that makes you think he'd be a great friend to go watch a movie with, among many, many other reviewers. And of course, you, our viewers, this thing we all have together with the content creators keeps stories from being created in silos. And that's essential. We are all in the storytelling process together. From the original telling of Gilgamesh to the most recent Sherlock Holmes, Snow White and Odysseus inspired films. Story evolves over time, changing and morphing from its original form into something similar but new, something that carries the DNA of the original story but has evolved into something new within the times, genres, technologies, and social shifts that have all had a hand in reshaping the newest version of the story. When creators adapt stories, we experience them and then talk about them. Same thing for when it's an original story, we experience it and talk about it. And collectively, we move the story to the next telling and we move it forward in its unique evolutionary process for the next audience in new times, in new formats, and in new genres. Inevitably, as stories evolve, the characters, story moments, and the settings that we all 
love, they all change and we can't help but react to those new stories and their changes. We get angry or happy with what they did to Luke Skywalker. We get filled with joy and wonder with what they did in Lord of the Rings. As fans and reviewers, we react and that is the power of story. So if you hate a new series like Echo because Marvel changed the source of Maya's power or love the monster in the last voyage of the Demeter or feel frustrated at the rise of Skywalker because J.J. Abrams was playing sleight of hand with Ray's parentage, you are experiencing the story and it is engaging with your mind and heart, making you feel something strong enough to respond with a reaction. Storytelling success in the eyes of a creator or a studio is to make you engage and to react. They want your rage, your love, your tears, and your joy. Your reaction means that the story they told is alive and that it transferred from their mind into yours. And those story seeds are growing inside you as you react and respond to what you experienced. In the future, as new stories are created and new threads are woven, you will have contributed to the future of that story's evolution because of your reaction. The real story killer, it's apathy. When you don't react, when you don't post, when you don't rage or celebrate or share your thoughts for good or ill about the story, that is how you kill a story because it just fades, it fades into darkness and dust, forgotten in time by all those who heard it, but weren't moved enough to respond. That fading out of a story is the fabric of nightmares that every storyteller experiences, whether they are authors, musicians, filmmakers, or artists. When it comes to reviews, some people think I am too nice because I don't post about things I don't like. But honestly, why should I? Why should I put hours of my life into critiquing a story that I disliked when there are so many more things that inspire me to react with joy or anger, things that I would rather talk with you about than some generic story that lingered for too long on the screen? I am fine with letting those stories fade away. I don't need to talk about them. I would rather talk about Vincent D'Onofrio's version of Kingpin while feeling this mixture of anger and sympathy for his character or feeling utter joy at the side of a mysterious Jedi who exits a single X-wing and then cuts through dozens of dark troopers to save Grogu or the unsettled pride at seeing America Ferrera let loose about the frustrations of being a woman in a man's world in her Barbie monologue. That's a whole lot more fun. And that's where I am spending my time. Your reactions and my reactions are story gold. They are why we tell each other stories in the first place. Because it means we are communicating with each other. There are tons of positive and negative reviews out there spicing up the conversations about films like the Marvels, Oppenheimer, Wonka, or The Flash. Love them or hate them. Those stories are alive and well in our minds because we are reacting. Nobody cares about an apathetic review. They don't click. They don't read. They don't watch. Nobody is talking about stories like The Shift, Shazam, Fear of the Gods, dream scenario or landscape with the invisible hand, they are just fading away. So when you are raging about or praising Kathleen Kennedy, Peter Jackson, Zack Snyder, Greta Gerwig, or someone else's story on YouTube, Twitter, X, Facebook, Reddit, or somewhere else, you are feeding life into their story verse by expressing yourself 
they succeeded because they got you to react, respond, and continue the conversation. If you like my reviews, fantastic. If you don't like them, tell me why. Yeah, maybe you'll make me sad, but reviewing, it isn't about agreeing or disagreeing. It's about talking to each other and sharing the things that matter to us. And I want to know what matters to you. So that's why I'm here doing this and reaching out to you right now because you matter. Your story matters. I love chatting with you about movies and TV. And it's also why I hope you will take a moment to give this video a thumbs up or even a thumbs down because it's a reaction and I care what you think. I mean, yeah, I would rather you give it a thumbs up, but I want you to do you because that's what's important. Plus, I really enjoy just talking to you. Thank you for listening. If you like this video, please do subscribe for more because there are some great and horrible films coming and I cannot wait to chat with you about them. That's all for now, guys. Happy viewing, and I will see you again soon. Bye.